Hello, this is uh, chapter 2 of the adventures of Tobias and Jonas. <laughs> no. Tobias and jo Jonas. 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 I don't know if Jonas is Jonas a German name. German name? I don't know. Uh, it could be. Should I do this whole whole um, chapter in the German? I've named this chapter the. <laughs> it's just chapter two, really. Numero two. Okay, right. Um, yeah, chapter two of the Adventures of Dubai. Okay, this one. Right, you know, watch watch the last one if you haven't watched chapter one. So here we are. Yeah. Okay. Right, so he never saw the boy again. Now I'm just reminding myself of what happened last time. Uh, Tobias woke from a troubled sleep. Johan, Johan is his dog if you remember, came to his side to comfort him. I'll remind you of the names of the things, so I'm not going to be like, Oh yes, um, <laughs> his father, um, bloody blah, his name. Okay, yeah, jo jo Johan, named after his favorite uh, guitarist. No, get not guitar. Flute, flute, not flute. Lute player. God, Johan Flexerson. Lightning Flexerson. I don't. I've, I've, I don't even know my own story. Okay, I'm sorry. It had been raining in the in the night, which had almost melted away the last of the winter snows. Tobias would be happy to see spring again, as the forest came alive with the bloom of, of many wild flowers and the wildlife returned from their hibernation. It had been a particularly bad winter, and the heavy snowfall at times had cut him off from the nearby town, and his winter supplies were growing low. So his salt beef, his, I don't know, his wine, his mead, all that good stuff. Things people ate and drank back in those days. Yeah, some kind of salt uh, meat that would preserve over the winter, I believe. Um. Yeah, he, he wanted nothing more than to visit his brother Jonas, Father Willem, and his nephew Edwin, but he never really got along with his sister-in-law Helena, for whatever reason. She was a very pretty, she was very pretty, and he was naturally jealous of his brother for well, having a pretty wife, naturally. It was a short ride to their home, and Johan would run alongside Tobias on his mount. His mount. Oh, it's, it's a horse. Mist. Named that because of its grey, misty coloured fur. Or oh, hair. I don't know what horses have. Mist. Mist had been Tobias's since, since the, the war. The, the Great War of many years ago was a very brave and trustworthy horse. He wasn't the fastest, but he could ride long distances if need be with little water or feed. The fa um, there was a, a cool a cool winter breeze, but the sun was shining bright. Tobias didn't mind the cold, and the sun was nice for a change. The sky was clear. He passed the church on the way. Or oh, whatever you, they called them. I presume they call them churches. Cathedral. Not a cathedral, it's not a city. It's just a, church, a small village or hamlet, I guess, where this is. Tobias was not really a religious man in the organized way. He didn't like the uh, he didn't like the Romans. Not that he was ever in contact with them, but he didn't like what they left behind. Or, or, yeah, he didn't like the Romans or the silly religion they brought with them. But at least they were no longer in Northumbria. Or England in general. But yeah, this is Anglo Saxon times. Many southern kings tried to tame Northumbria, but whenever they sent someone to rule, they would be murdered. They would be murdered. Um, Northumbria was largely independent and was likely to stay that way. Tobias reached Jonas's home and put Mist in the barn and left him with some hay and water. He let he let himself into Jonas's house. Jonas greeted him. Brother! 
It is good to see you. Are you well? Tobias. As well as I can be. Where's Edwin? Uh, Jonas. He's, he's in beside the half. And father is here also. Tobias. I, I was going to see him actually. It's a good job he's here. Because I would have to go to his house as well. Um, he didn't, I didn't write that bit but. Yeah you get it. They they walked towards the hearth. Tobias caught a look at Helena and thought she had grown even more beautiful, or was was it simply as he had not seen a woman in a week or so? Because the heavy snows, you know, he couldn't be bothered to go to town. Um, he went to kiss her on the hand. My beautiful sister-in-law, looking as lovely as ever. He kissed her hand. She blushed. Helena, you're too kind to buy. You're too kind to buy us. She hugged him, and her sizely chest felt good on him. Yeah, breasts, I guess. She had a long, luscious golden hair, and she always had it nicely braided in a fashion which made her even more desirable. Her personality didn't quite match her physical beauty, and she wasn't the quickest of wits. She was the town mare before the war, and had been ridden many a time before Jonas married her, and she had a child from another man who was now near a grown woman and did not live with Jonas and Helena. Well, this, this didn't make her any less desirable, and she calmed down a lot. After Tywin was born, and that was just after the war, <laughs> he was born, I remember saying, um, Tobias, father! Father uh, and uh, Willem, is the father. Son, I've missed you, Tobias. As uh, as have I. Yeah, all right. I've missed you. Yeah, Tobias. As have I. His father had lived alone ever since his mother died from a fever just before the war. He would often stay with Jonas and Hel Helena. He would look after Edwin and tell him stories of the olden days. He much, much like he did with him and Jonas when they were boys. Their favorite story had always been about the ghost of Bamber Castle and how it once had once been a king at the castle, but no one remembered which king. So, some think he was a king who was only in power for a short time, like a fortnight or so was killed by Scots, Scottish people. He wandered the castle looking for Scots to get his revenge. Edwin was a boy of eight. He was born not long after the war. He had his father's dark auburn hair and would make a good warrior one day as his father taught him to use the sword as did Tobias. Tobias ruffled up, rough, rough, roughed up, ruffled his, yeah, ruffled his hair. Ruffle, rough, rough, Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> ruffled up uh, Edwin's hair in a playful fashion. Gave him a few bronze coins to buy some treats from the nearby bakery. Edwin, thanks, Uncle Toby. Tobias, anything for my nephew? Now r run along. I have something I must discuss with your father. Edwin went to play, and Johan followed him. D the two liked to play. The Johan's the dog. The, the two got along famously. They were best of buddies. Tobias, I haven't just come to see you all, but to make a... But you know why I have came. Jonas. I understand. You want, you want to lay with Helena. I will allow it, as you are my brother. But you'll owe me. Tobias. What? No, not not that. But since you're offering Helena, you up for it? <laughs> Helen, I'd rather lay with your dog. Um. Tobias knew she really wanted him, but she was trying to play hard to get. The sexual tension between them had been there since the first time they met. Damn it! Had been so long since he'd lain with a woman, almost a year. And that was a tavern when she drunk herself silly, could barely move, but she was a pretty little thing, and Tobias was not 
likely to pass up that opportunity. He can still remember the smell of her, the feel of her silky red hair. Uh, yeah, but she but she was nothing compared to Eleanor. Oh, she couldn't hold a candle to her. Um, men remembered a night with her all of their lives, apparently. Tobias, our yearly ritual of going to the Hoffet Evering to pay homage to the gods and pray for good tidings in this new year. Jonas, yes, hail Woden. Woden was the main Anglo-Saxon god. He's like Odin, but like obviously better. Willem, I fear I may not be able to make it to the Hof this year. The Hof is a hall. I guess it's ge it's German for a hall, but I don't know. It's like a, like a church, but Anglo so. And there is one in Yevering in Northumberland. It's it's maybe quite good. It's like a stave church. Um, I won't be able to make it to the Hof this year. I'm not strong enough to travel that far. Tell the gods I would come if I could. Uh, Tobias's father was a man of. One in seventy years, and since last year his health had deteriorated a lot. Um, what's it, Helena? Yes, Helena. We we can't we can't leave him alone. Tobias, true. You and Edmund will have to stay with him. Me and Jonas must go. Plus, the road is a dangerous place for a woman and a boy. Better we go, and we'll get be faster too. We shall set off on the morrow. End of chapter two. If you enjoy this, I've butchered reading it. Oh god, it's very. L okay, that's yeah. Like I said, that's the end of chapter two. I haven't really wrote much for chapter three yet, but I'll try and make it shortish because it's like it's like the first adventure, going to the Hof, paying homage to the gods, Anglo-Saxon gods, the gods of fertility and whatnot. Yes, so, um, um, if you like this video, you could like it if you want to. I got it, I got a dis, a down, a downvote? Damn, you read it. A, a dislike last, uh, on my last one. I thought I'd persevere and make another one. Maybe this chapter is more exciting. Okay, egg. Good, uh, good, good morrows and hail, warden.